it, and then you put auto tune in that, and then it just sounds really good. <laughs> Black Nation TV. Black Nation TV. Black Nation TV. Black Nation TV. Black Nation people, how you doing? Hi! No, I'm kidding. I'm not going to do that. Welcome to another episode of Sync and Tune. Come together through the melody, honey. And um, yeah, let's be great because we are Black Nation, right? Now, today I have an awesome guest on my show. Uh, hand, hand, cutter, cutter, hand, hand, dream team. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I'll tell you later. But before, I think we should go and hit a young insert mission. So we went out to the We Heartbeat uh, event, which was taking place at King Kong. And uh, yeah, Young Fathers was in the house. So let's go check that out. Black Nation. Peace. I'm here all week. Um, yeah, thank, thanks so much for coming, everybody. Um, I think it's going to be a really, really interesting experience. We spent out there yesterday, and it's it's, it's been very, very sunny for them. Um, hi everybody, my name is Sasa. I'm from Planet Radio TV. I just wanted to know, young fathers, you guys dance by any chance? <laughs> Where did the name come from? Black Nation people, how you doing? Uh, we are hanging out with the young fathers and uh, we're getting ready uh, to, you know, start, they're getting ready to start the tour here in SA. So I'm not interested in much because we are going to be checking out the action, but I just want to know from you guys. Actually, wait. Welcome, guys, to SA. Welcome. <laughs> it's your first time here. Are you guys surprised? Um, at what you've actually seen versus your perception of what you've seen. Uh, uh, it seems like the, the, yeah. what the scene, the, 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 the music scene, the film scene here was very, very helpful. So, what does it mean for you to be 
a musician, number one. Number two, what does it mean to you to be a part of a pioneering generation of artists and a pioneering generation, part of a pioneer generation of female MCs? Oof. What does okay. it mean to you? What does it mean to me? Music definitely means, it. being a part of the music industry definitely means to me that I can do what I want to do socially. You know, um, I feel like my music is not just all for, for jamming and for twerking in the club. You know? Good music, but at the end of the day, I feel like it should spark a sense of change. Yeah. And, and I mean, it's not really actually so beyond the queen of the revolution. So, oh, yeah? nice. That's there's nice. nice. Queen of the revolution, you know, That's where it's no good. longer about how big your booty is, but rather how I'm a female and I can do as well as the boys or even better, you know. Um, definitely a, a, a blueprint for, for female rap in South Africa. Um, we haven't had a female artist who, rap artist who is sustainable goes on for years, who goes on to not just be an artist, but be a business person, a business woman. venturing into other things, you know, not just somebody who gets washed out and then there are drugs and then five babies and, you know, so I think definitely for me, that's what it means. It means, um, yo, trying to, trying to, trying, trying to reinforce to the communities that I've lived in, to the girls in Yovo, if I need to, the mm. girls that I said when they themselves, yeah, right. you know, yeah. to, to them, to people in them, you know, um, who, who, who definitely are like, yo, pro G the main, that I can do this, I'm a female, I'm of mixed blood, but at the end of the day, I'm here not as a female rapper, but a rapper who happens to be female. That's great, that is amazing. Okay, I hear you. Um, I hear you, I hear you, I hear you, and what can we expect from you this year? Uh, what? Yeah, like, what are you, what are you, what are you planning? Yo, Gigi Lemay is my height. I feel like um, we've got the talent. Now we need people to hear. So it's definitely going to be hype. Nice collaborations with good artists. Um, Name yeah, one, except for Catherine, your best. Yo, this guy, like, yo, like, yo, like, yo, like, yo, China Coats. Yeah, like China Coats. Yeah, like yeah. So it's gonna be China definitely. Yeah, and the rest everybody will see. So it's, it's really exciting. I feel like yo, could you China? Yeah, I'm really excited. So just lots of hype. Getting to know Gigi Lemay. That's what we do this year. Okay. One more question. Um, I wanna actually go back to that question about the record label because I felt like you were signed with acts like Pro Kid and I think a lot of the time when you sign with big people there's an expectation <coughs> whereas you're like okay I'm signed I'm gonna be big or they're gonna treat me well and then you don't understand God's time so how was the reality that panned out versus what you guys discussed as a team at the time because mm. it's only happening now yeah I feel like when you, when you get signed like the first time and you're with this big artist, you always feel like things are going to move now. So it's going to be like, yo, we're going to put you on, we're going to put you, yeah, you, this is your year, you know, and you realize like three months later, like, yo, but I'm still sick. And I feel like as much as people complain that I've got OCD, it was important for me to get up and say, you know what, it's not moving how I wanted want to. to move. And luckily, they're amazing people, but I, I could get up and leave. And I think and what's important for institutions to know is that if I don't rap and I don't sing, you don't pay your rent. So it's in your best interest. And I, for me, I felt like I was a bit other. of a... Yeah, and I felt like... like <laughs> I was like a, a child today, almost, you know. I, I didn't like feeling like that. And um, yeah, and then things happened. I went solo again. And then, um, shout out to solo. I went solo again. <laughs> shout out to solo. <laughs> Yeah. And then, um, you see, I'm hinting things. And, um, yeah, no, I can, I can tell. And then, the one. Yeah. Dream Team. Okay. You know? And Dream Team is that team you can only dream of. I feel like, yo, those they're people are my life. <laughs> they're my heart. They believed in me when I was really down. Yeah. When I was about to give, give up. up. Yeah. You know, and that, that means the world to me. I didn't have any money in my pocket. I didn't have anything to offer. But you they, were just they, artistically They dead. believed in my talent and... Because of that, I feel I honestly, honestly need to make them proud. 
Yeah. So it's just dream it's team. Shout out to everybody at Dream Team who believed in me. It's incredible. Ice cream. Yeah. Game over. Please don't yeah. cry. <laughs> it's incredible. It was hard. It was hard. No, I know. No matter how hard you spit, all the hype that you get can resemble the gist of a male manifesto. Impresto. Look like I ain't giving a hoot. But I ain't paying for no favors in my birthday suit. A female can never get to top place, my ninja. Still the same vote riggers in the game, my ninja. These connects are respect for today, my ninja. You gotta be the boss's girl to be the man, my ninja. I ain't paying for no favors on a Friday night. The climate tight. I'm writing raps by candlelight. If Kanye's right, then women are the last to bite. I'm dark and twisted. Give me Kim and all of the light. See women gaining respect from education and books. We the same revivalist of all your hip-hop hooks. Scheming to your homies up our crazy rap and look. I put the throne in the closet and the crown in the boot. You see it's okay cool well you know that was another video episode of singing tune with myself you you want to talk about and I'm shy to Miss Gigi the Meg for coming into the studio and having me on like what because she's the future but it's really ice cream I want to put in our scheme it's really ice cream but it's me